Five things ayahuasca taught me. Number one, it taught me to be honest. I used to lie a lot. I used to cheat on all my partners. I used to be sneaky with my friendships. I used to do things that were self-serving and, and just lie because it was easier than telling the truth. Ayahuasca showed me that a life that was built on lies was bound to crush at any time. It also showed me the beauty that is possible when we walk with honesty, with integrity, when we say what we're thinking, when we say yes when we mean yes, when we say no when we mean no. Of course, a lot of the relationships that I was in fell apart because they were relationships based on lies, based on me trying to please other people or trying to get something out of other people. However, the relationships, the life, even the job, the work that I do right now are, are rooted on being honest with myself first and foremost about what I want to do in life and with others. I ended up getting married, transitioning out of a job that I wasn't fully aligned with, restoring friendships and relationships with my family and many more things, quitting drugs. Thanks to that, I became honest with myself and I was willing to face an honesty that perhaps was not pleasant, understanding that I was the cause of my mess. Number two, it taught me to be in connection with nature. People imagine connection with nature means I hug trees, I go on hikes all the time, or you live inside a mountain. That's not true. We are part of nature, but we're disconnected from it. This body is like a tree, just more mobile. So we, that's why indigenous cultures refer to the earth as mother nature. Being more connected to nature meant that I was more connected to my body, meaning I could feel more clearly what I was feeling. I could understand in a deeper way when something was out of integrity, either something that I was doing or something that was happening outside of me. Meaning I was more in touch with my intuition and my heart and I could feel in my gut when, when I should do or not do something. And of course the mind could have a thousand ideas that sometimes are very compulsive. And I will learn the hard way that every time I don't trust my gut, I end up in a place that is not very supportive of living consciously. So connecting to nature meant that I cherish my body, meaning I eat clean. I do not drink anymore. I do not take drugs. I move. I treat my body with devotion and reverence. And therefore, today I enjoy great health and vitality. Number three, it unleashed my creativity. It taught me that fear is a made-up concept. Nobody cares. You will die. And where do your fears go? And even if you create, if you sing a million songs, paint a million paintings, write a thousand books, you will anyways die. And one day in the future, nobody's going to think about you or remember you. That's a beautiful thing. Why? Because when we lose our fear, we can be creative, meaning we can do whatever we want with our life. Not because mom and dad want me to be this way, not because my culture, my society raised me to pursue these things, but because this is what my heart wants to express. Ayahuasca taught me to trust myself, trust my creative instinct, and to live from that place, meaning that my life is mine and not there to please or impress anybody else. Now, the next one, number four, was ayahuasca taught me to be strong. This one was quite difficult, but a lot of the ceremonies were very hard on the mind, on the body, on the emotions. Many times I felt that I was dying, especially as a facilitator, as an assistant of the shaman. Many times I felt that I'm going to go crazy and suddenly somebody needs help to go to the toilet. Suddenly the fire broke down and I need to go and, and bring wood and organize it. When I think that I just want to scream and vomit and pull my hair from how overwhelming and overwhelmed the whole thing is. In those moments I, I realized that I had to reach for something deeper within my heart. A power that was beyond my mind, beyond my body, beyond my feeling. A place of stillness and strength above all chaos the eye of the hurricane and be responsible and take care of people and support other people. Be grounded when everything within me was total chaos. 
This is one of the biggest lessons that ayahuasca has given me, that to be at peace is my choice, and it's a choice that you cannot take away from me. My mind can be going crazy, and I will still reside in peace. The world around me can be going crazy. People can be screaming and crying and vomiting all over, and I can be at peace. And finally, ayahuasca taught me, and some of you may think this is a little strange or religious, but I don't speak about religion, but it taught me that there is something greater. Some people call it God, some people call it Source, some people refer to it as nature or the source of creation. There was an energy from which everything came out of. Even scientists agree that at the core of the atom, it's all the same energy, so I refer to this. There's something greater, something higher, something that when it touches you, it makes life worth living. Something that when you touch that place, you understand that that day you started living, that until then you were chasing things, running in circles, not understanding really what the purpose of life was. I understood through ayahuasca the purpose of the life that we are. And more than the purpose, the beauty, the experience. I was able to touch a place so deep within me that I understood that there was no longer any need for me to chase anything externally. No amount of pleasure, of validation, of wealth, fame, of anything outside of me could bring a glimpse, a little, a drop of the joy and the exuberance and bliss that lies within my heart if I open up. So I hope you enjoyed this video. These are five things that Ayahuasca taught me. And he has taught me so many more things about life, about music, about art, about relationships about spirituality, about business, about friendships and family. Ayahuasca is a great teacher. So if you're on the fence wondering whether to sit with the medicine or not, I invite you to trust, trust the calling, trust your gut. And if you've been watching some of my videos and you want to come to the center that I work with, with shamans that are respectable, experienced, and work with integrity and responsibility, you can find the links below. Also, if you're just browsing, there's a book that I wrote inspired by over a hundred ayahuasca ceremonies. The lessons condensed bring us from a journey of pain to one of purpose and peace. I hope that you enjoyed and see you next time.